Hello there and welcome to the new video in which we are exploring the question full stack developer versus data analyst. So these are the two different roles that you have uh, as an available uh, in which you can make your career. One is the full stack developer and second is the data analyst. And again, I received this question where, uh, where a beginner basically was asking me whether I should go for a full stack developer or I should become a data analyst. So data analyst or data scientist or data engineer is, is the field where I have uh, the most experience because in which I have worked, I can give my input, but uh, I did not have any idea about the full stack developer. I had a very, very brief idea because uh, in the organization you meet different people and once in a while I think I have met some of the full stack developer but never went in depth about uh, their skills, about uh, their what, what do they do. So I did a little bit of research and with that uh, I thought why not I put it in a uh, sort of a presentation for you and help you understand. Also what I did is I figured out uh, usually uh, how much salary in India or in US generally a full stack developer or a data analyst as a fresher can. So that's what I have put it in the next slide. So with that, let's start with the uh, first thing. Uh, let's start seeing what do a full stack developer do? Well, full stack developer, uh, they manage both the uh, front and back end side of the software. Now here, another question or another thing is that uh, you have full stack developer for web and for the software, right? So here I'm taking a generalized thing or a generalized designation, which is a full, scale, a full stack developer. And they basically manage both the backend of the software and front end. And that's why I think the name is that full stack developer. Uh, second is they are involved in the entire life cycle because they are, uh, they are on the both side, front and back end. And uh, they even do the testing and debugging of the software. Uh, they, are, they even upgrade the software with the latest technology. So whenever the technology is changing, either on the back end or on the front end, they are basically involved even uh, the upgradation of the software or the website with the latest technology. That's why the role become more crucial about uh, when, when you talk about the full stack developer because a lot of responsibility or, uh, is, is, is on their shoulder in terms of uh, the entire software or entire website. Now, uh, they are the consultant to the decision makers. So that's another important thing because uh, they are involved in the entire life cycle. They are doing testing, debugging, even upgrading the software. So this can be one of the question whether we should really go with the latest technology or not. So in this case, they become the consultant of the uh, decision maker or similarly, any new enhancement, any new feature is coming in. Uh, these guys will be the one who will get consult with before even introducing it into the uh, software or a website. And uh, they maintain the scalability and security of the, of the software or the website. So all in all, they are basically the jack of all trade is something what I thought of writing in the end that uh, they are involved everywhere. Uh, and that's what uh, become or that's what make their job profile crucial in terms of uh, or as a full stack developer, whether for software or for web. So that's that's about uh, some of these some of these things which I read online or I read about when I was doing my uh, bit of a research in terms of what really happens in this side of the world uh, in the full stack developer. And then let's see about uh, the data analyst. So data analyst, uh, if you have seen my previous video, you can go ahead and skip that. But those who are beginner and trying to understand what do they do? Well, they, they gather the data from various different sources. They clean the data just to remove anomalies or missing data and things like those. Uh, analyze the data which is there um, uh, after the cleaning of data uh, to basically find the hidden pattern and all those things. And then they interpret based on what they could uh, see in the data after analyzing it. Interpretation is required. Based on what they analyzed and interpret, they put it in a structure which is easy to consume for the end user or the person who really have less time and they need basically the conclusion in the form of the presentation and finally what you have is the automate is something 
uh, a technical part of this thing where uh, initially when you are involved in the first five phases you try to automate it because if this is the analysis is needed again and again like the business review DAX or the dashboard or the report then you try to just automate let's say with the VBA programming or let's say within any business intelligence tool then this is the part which comes in makes this profile a little bit more uh, interesting. So uh, and finally uh, it's the research part it's research basically they do in most of the things like whenever working with the new data working with a new problem all these things comes over here uh, related to the data which they do. All right, so uh, interesting question, how much they earn, right? Because uh, that's one of the deciding factor where not just we want to do the work, but we want to make sure that we are getting paid properly or we are getting paid handsomely in the, uh, in the respective field. Well, what I found out that um, overall, there is not much of a difference, at least whenever the starting is. However, as far as my experience is concerned, specifically, I'm talking about data analysis. And somehow what I spoke to a couple of uh, my friends as well on the full stack development side, those who are into the software development and website development is that it all depends on in the end is in what sort of company you are in, what sort of project, how critical that project is, what is the funding that is coming for that project. And based on that, you either get paid very high or you are stuck in a wrong job. Uh, because because you are not getting paid well in that one. So average pay for fresher, and that's why I'm saying fresher, not like I'm covering entire thing, is uh, if you are a data analyst and you are trying to get a job, uh, two factors I have shown or two things I have shown, job pay in India and in US. So in India, generally what you will going to get is the five lakh on an average and it can vary uh, one to one and a half lakh either on the upper side or on the lower side uh, as far as my research and my analysis is concerned. So from 3.5 to 6.5 is something a range but 5 lakh is on an average a fresher is, is earning in, in the data analysis field uh, who, are, uh, uh, who are the uh, ex who I would say are having a good and great understanding going with the some sort of a background in terms of uh, any any let's say a course, uh, at least one year course or things like those that they have done and shown that uh, they have a good product port, um, they have a good project portfolio and where they have shown the expertise. And in case of a US, uh, it is $70,000 per year is what on an average a data analyst is earning. Now uh, coming to the full stack developer in India, they basically earn around 4 lakh. Uh, specifically, if I talk about uh, the on the software side, it is relatively less. But in terms of web development side, it is relatively more because in web, there is a lot of innovation that is happening. And as you can see, uh, the organizations or or you know the different startups which are coming in, you know, they have all, all this requirement where they can create website, they can create apps, and there are a lot of web development is happening in that area. And it has become like a cutthroat market. Even I, I had recently even um, talked with my cousin who is into the full stack web development. And he, he has really grown like anything in the web development, specifically moving from uh, in, in the period of three years from one full stack development developer to another full stack developer in a sort of in a web development. So at least from software, what I could find is four lakh, but in case of a web developer, it is slightly high, could be around five or 5.5 as a fresher that, that usually is being uh, awarded to the uh, full stack developer. In case of US, what I could see is from multiple sites is that uh, the, the pay is high, 92,591 is, uh, 92,591 is generally the average pay for the full stack developer. So definitely the pay is a little bit more, maybe because um, uh, as you can see, uh, as compared to India, there are uh, in US, you have the different ways of how you are getting paid. Also, it, it, it's also based on your location, your, uh, your, basically, uh, your basically education and things like those, where you get the, uh, the average pay. But this is what I could see uh, after you know 
gathering the information from four five site and finding the average is 92591 is something as an average pay a full stack developer is getting so uh, both career is rewarding at the end um, uh, i just want to say both career are rewarding but uh, in case of full stack developer it is highly technical job that means a person who really enjoys programming who really being a uh, part of every life cycle be it testing like i said shown in the second slide testing debugging you know upgrading of software and things like those if you really enjoyed that highly technical part this is what your area is but if you enjoy research if you enjoy analyzing patterns from the data if you enjoy data analysis data visualization things like those then this is a field for you and both are i would say uh, uh, relatively uh, in terms of compensation relatively uh, same or moving around on the similar lines because at the end of the day you know we can get gather all this statistics and show it but it comes down to what level of expertise you are showing uh, or have gathered uh, based on your education the port project portfolio that you have produced for yourself and based on that even i've seen that uh, or usually even uh, companies you know give you slightly higher or lower based on how they are finding it you based on your qualification so if data research or data analysis is your field then obviously data analyst data engineer data scientist is is basically your field in which you may want to uh, go in and uh, make your career so let me know if you have any other question after this and uh, i will try to you know put my thoughts around it do my research if i need to and uh, come uh, come back with some sort of a consolidated information like this which hopefully will be useful for you to to make some sort of a decision or to at least get some guidance or the uh, idea about what what really happens what is uh, what are the life cycles and uh, usually what the pay is and based on all of this what my conclusion basically say based on my uh, around 15 years of experience so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic